Welcome. So this question says, consider a parallel plate capacitor that is used to create a uniform electric field of 11 newtons per coulomb. Uh, what is the potential difference between a point A and a point B? So um, here we have a schematic diagram and you can see that not only is point B more towards the negative plate than point A is, but it's also over to one side. It's also moved laterally. And so our interest is shifting like that. And so our question is, what does that do to our interpretation? We've learned that our potential difference is minus the electric field multiplied by the displacement. And so we know that in this case, our electric field is 11 uh, newtons per coulomb. And so we have this displacement to consider. And the question is, if I draw this out, I have a distance of four meters between the plates. I have a distance of six meters parallel to the plates and my distance that I actually move my point of interest is the square root of 4 squared plus 6 squared meters just using Pythagoras. That's a right angle there. And so there's a conceptual question about which of these distances am I actually concerned about when I say displacement? What exactly do I mean? And you can look at this various ways. You can turn around and say, well, this is going to be the distance that's parallel to the electric field, which would mean it's the uh, uh, four meters. Or this would be the distance that's along the slope. Um, it's, sorry, this would be the component of the distance that's actually moved through the component which is parallel to the electric field. <laughs> so whichever way you cut it, you want the distance that's parallel to the electric field. This is analogous to when we did work and we said that it wasn't any old force and any old displacement. You had to figure out the displacement that was in line with the force. And so we say here delta V is equal to minus 11 I'm sorry, times D, minus 11, and in this case it would be times 4. So delta V would equal minus 44 volts. Now, it is a negative sign if my displacement is in the same direction as my electric field. And so going from A to B, I would say it is negative 44 volts. If I went from B to A, it would be positive 44 volts. And there's a, if that's not so clear, you can imagine a 3D version of this, where this is the top plate, and this is the bottom plate, and the electric field is like a slope, like an embankment. And point A is here, and point B is there. And basically what counts is how far down the slope you move. This is high potential. This is low potential. And so in going from A to B, we're going from high to low potential, which we can indicate with a negative sign. Um, the only other thing I'd act, I think it's good practice to put down, under this equation, you put down uniform, just to keep reminding yourself that this is the equation that you use for a uniform electric field. If it's not a uniform electric field, then our equation is modified and is a little bit more complicated. So there we have it.